Well, hello again. And it's a grand day for growing the melanoma. But the day I'm going to show you how to plant and grow healthy, tasty, juicy vegetables. But first, a warning. This is my raised bed here. And as you can see, it's got a net over it. Last year, I grew tatties in this raised bed. And after I lifted the tatties, I put this net on. It's been on all winter. I put this net on to stop cats coming in and cacking in the soil. Now, raised beds seem to be very attractive to cats. This book here, by the Royal Horticultural Society, Garden Pests and Diseases, mentions birds, insects, fungi, viruses, mould, but it doesn't mention cats. Now, the problem is, human, dog and cat faeces can contain diseases and parasites which can get back into humans through vegetables. Cats in particular, eh, their faeces can contain a parasite called Toxoplasma gordii, co Toxoplasma gondii, and this parasite has been known to cause blindness and wanes. So, if there's any wanes in Loch Winner who are going to be messing about with soil, ground vegetables, then their parents should be aware of this and be very careful. That was just a warning. The other day, I looked here and I noticed there were some tatty shoes growing up through the soil. Now, I haven't put any tatties in here this year, so I suspect there's tatties down there for last year. So, let's see if there is any tatties down here which are edible. So let's see what's doing here. All right, I can feel something. What is it? Arr, come out. Ah, right. Now, oh, look at that. How's about that? Look at that now. That's beautiful. That's amazing. Look at the size of that tatty. Now that tatty has been in there for a year and it's perfect. There's no disease, fungus or anything on it. So look at that, that's amazing that. Now you can see how the plant grows. This is the tatty shows growing up for the in at the bottom here. That's amazing that. I'll, we'll have that for our tea. You can have that for your tea tonight. <laughs> eh. So I'll break this off. Aye, that's a bro example of a tatty. Now, in the last video, I introduced you to a very important part of the vegetable garden, the compost heap. So let's go down to the compost heap because I want to tell you a few things. This here is a big pile of rotting vegetation. It isn't a compost heap. This as a compost heap and just like a caterpillar will metamorphose into a butterfly this big pile of rotting vegetation will metamorphose into a nice big pile of compost like this this compost contains elements sometimes they're known as nutrients elements which will help a plant grow healthily and continue to grow healthily. A vegetable needs at least 15 elements as well as carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. These elements are inorganic minerals. This is the inorganic minerals here. Soil. Now, where did this soil come from? This was created in the ancient explosions of stars. And when our solar system was forming, all these elements clumped together into a big lump cried planet Earth. 
And this stuff here is the weather dune. Rocks of planet Earth. That's what you've got in your garden. A vegetable will grow in this Earth. And it will soak up all the elements, all the valuable elements it needs. And the human will eat the vegetables and get the elements into the human. But the human might no eat all the vegetable. There might be some left, they might, they might discard some. A banana peel, banana skin, a kiwi fruit skin. Well, what have you else have we got here? Aye, an orange skin. We've got tatty peelings. Well, we've got everything here. Tea bags. Now, traditionally, this was discarded. It was put in the bin and it disappeared with the bin man, the dust man. But if the human, like yourself, puts it in here, then, then eventually it'll rot to, to be like this. And you can put this in your soil and a vegetable will grow in it. You can come along and eat the vegetable. Return what you don't want into the into the pile of rotten vegetation. It will become compost. You can put it on your garden. Your vegetables will grow. You can eat the vegetables. You can discard what you don't want into the pile and it becomes compost and so on. You'll understand the recycling process. And if you grow vegetables in that way, then you'll be being very environmentally friendly. It will involve practically no consumption of energy and the very minimum carbon footprint. So if you do it in this way, you will be being very kind to the planet.